saw a bunch of three or four hands go up during my talk. So, who has questions, comments? What's up? Yep. Yep. You have to build a brand. You have to build a better brand. There's, there's, there's a thousand other businesses like mine. I make videos for, for businesses. I make podcasts for businesses. I help them tell their story on social media. There's millions of people out there doing that. But we have a very successful business because I've built a brand. Because people like me, and, and that trickles down. I can tell you're a good person. I can tell that instantly from the minute you talk. You're gonna have a team that will be like you. The reason that I love my team, I love Oscar, I we have seven different people. They're all good people. And they all work hard and they're all kind. And for me, that's like, you have to work hard, you have to be visionary, you have to really believe in positivity. You have people you can trust and to be kind. And so when things come up with clients, I, I'm not at all, like we had a, a big issue this week about a podcast that we launched for the city. There was, a, there was a long delay. But the way that we all communicated, I was not worried that, that he would get frustrated and say something bad to the client. I wasn't worried about that because that's your thing. So you, the only way that you stand out when you have 15 competitors and it's more like a thousand and now with the internet, it's more like a million is people will buy from you. Why do you buy? Why'd you buy that shirt? Why'd you buy that hat? All of the, the consumption choices that we make as human beings basically is either out of convenience. Yep. Good. Yep. Yeah. That's okay. That's that's fine, but that's fine. And, and I think I think, but, but the point that the interest, the most interesting point that you're making, you already know the answer to this. You're just kind of like talking through it. Is the brand we all and and the, and the more and more we learn about companies and about people, the more and more we learn about our, listen, we are empowered as citizens of this country to do what? To spend our money, you know? The market will respond to how you spend money. And, P and you will know how you're doing as a brand to see how people are spending their money on you. How, how, how important would be the, when you say making a brand <coughs> Okay, so logos. I think I, I like. I think logos are, are are important. Are they the most important thing? No. So many people are like spending weeks and years, and they're like, Brian, I haven't started yet. And I'm like, dude, I just I saw you a year ago. You're like, but I just I can't get my logo right. I'm like, you are out of your mind. You know, I can't get my web my website isn't right. I'm like, you are out of your mind. Don't stress it too much. Do the best you can. But remember this, and this is a great question because remember this, Nike, Uber, Lyft, Apple. All of these words meant absolutely nothing to us when the brand started. What is Nike? Like if you brought a, 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 an alien to earth and you said Nike, they'd be like, mm. you know, so all these words, everyone's so stressed. Should I call my company this or this or this? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it doesn't mean anything. Just like Nike meant nothing when they said, this is Nike. And now it means a lot because of what they built, not because of the name, not because of the logo. Make sense? So for someone who wants to start their own platform and get their own business, they could also advertise through YouTube to what I'm asking, so I'm not really you sure. Could, you could. Someone get paid through YouTube and with the GoFundMe page as well, or is that all linked? So you can market on YouTube. You can, it's a little bit, it, I haven't done a lot of marketing on YouTube. Facebook and Instagram have worked really well for me. So I focus most all of my marketing dollars on Facebook and Instagram. And I think that if you guys have marketing dollars to spend, for those of you guys. Like, yes, you do. How much is it? It's, it's very cheap. So the numbers are like this. It's pay, it's pay per click, but it's, it's more, it's more like targeted. So. If you spend $7 on Facebook, you can get in front of between one and 2,000 people. 1,000 to 2,000 people. So targeted people, which is extremely cheap. Extremely cheap. So even if you have a $50 Facebook budget a month, you can still get in front of between, what is that, 
five to 10,000 people, targeted people. Uh, what depends on a couple different things. Number one, how good is your creative? Number two, how detailed is your, because you have about three seconds to get their attention, which is why I, which is why I was saying earlier about the, the anniversaries and the birthdays. You have to literally say, if you are Dominican and living in the South Bronx, pay attention to this. That's gotta be your first three seconds. Does that make sense? So it depends on that. And then the other thing that you have to be really careful about is, and, and think through strategically is, there has to be a call to action, which is like, you know, so there's two different things. There's the brand side of things, right? Which is like, I just want people to know who I am, which is 99% of my content. And in fact, all of my content, aside from like maybe one or two things a year, is just a straight brand thing. I'll put this talk up. There's, I'm not selling anything to people that watch this video. There's nothing I'm selling. I just want people to be inspired, to know who I am, maybe to pass it along to their instructor, I don't know, I don't have an agenda with it. But I know that that's my brand. I want people to pay, I want people to know who I am. Now, if you're selling something, right, there's a couple different things you can do. Number one is you actually just make a sale, which is, hey, I'm Andrea, and if you have a child between one and five in the South Bronx, I am offering this month a deal for you at my daycare. That's number one, it's a straight sale. I'm selling dolls, I'm selling a catering company, I'm an event planner, you should hire me. And don't, if you're gonna make a sale, make a sale. Like don't bury it in the last three seconds of your video where you talk for two minutes about your passion and why and then, then and if you wanna hire me, but no, no, that's number one. Number two is you can actually use the brand videos, and this is important. And I know there's a lot of information here guys, so please ask questions if it's too much, too fast. But you can actually, on Facebook and Instagram, do, what, do retargeting. Meaning, if I make a video about my, orf my, my neglected children project, right? Let's say I make a three minute video with uh, the, the Espaillat. Espaillat is, the, you know, is an assemblyman here, Dominican assemblyman. Let's say Espaillat is on your, on your thing, right? or Yadonis Rodriguez for up in Washington Heights. Let's say he, you interview him, okay? And let's say the interview is eight minutes long and you put that eight minute interview up. You can actually know how many people watched 10, uh, watched 25, 50, 75, 100% of that eight minute video, which is really crazy. Because if I watched eight minutes of your eight minute video or six minutes or even four minutes of your eight minute video, what do you know about me? I'm highly interested in what you're talking about. So I can run a retargeted video where I would say something like, hey, I, I hope you enjoyed the interview that I did last week with uh, Assemblyman Espaillat. Um, we, we touched on a lot of things, mostly about how much we love the Dominican Republic. My oh, man. And, uh, and, and, and I, you know, I know that you probably also love the Dominican Republic and you hopefully found it useful. If you did, I'm taking preliminary $100 donations. Please click below to find that button. And then I run that to the people that watched six or eight minutes of the video. And let's say a thousand people watched the, watched the video, 30, uh, 3, 3, uh, 300 of those 1,000 watched four minutes of that video. Now I'm in front of the 300 most relevant people from that relevant video. That's crazy, guys. That's, that's why it's the best time ever, whoever asked me, to build a business. Because these tools just did not exist before. You were at the mercy of putting that in my hands as your ad agency, and you are one of 122 different clients, and I actually don't even care about you. And then you get paid for people watching the video. You, in YouTube, you can get hit paid for people watching your videos. You don't get paid for people watching your videos in Facebook unless you're getting, unless advertisers are on your site. But that's gonna take some time. You need to have a certain number of views, a certain amount of minutes watched. I don't even have advertisers on my site and I produce a tremendous amount of content. So that takes time. I would say don't, don't initially don't count on YouTube or Facebook advertising as a revenue source meaning they're paying you to get on, the, on your site. Focus more on how can I make money now with what I'm offering. So what's like the easiest way to get one or the cheapest? I think uh, uh, LegalZoom. I think LegalZoom offers a pretty cheap one. Uh, so an LLC is a way of incorporating, 
so you can have a business. And the advantage of an LLC is that you can start to write off things as expenses. So if I fly to Miami tomorrow to meet with a client, I can write that $300 airplane ticket off and take that against my income. So if I make $100,000 this year, uh, if I made $100,000 working for the government, I have to pay $40,000 of taxes. If I make $100,000 this year as an entrepreneur, as the owner of an LLC, and I spend $95,000, I only have to pay taxes on the $5,000. So I end up paying about $2,000 of taxes instead of $40,000 of taxes. That's the advantage of having an LLC. Right, it also, it also you're, it's, a, it's a company, right. It protects your, it's right, you're right. It protects, so there's your, your personal assets. So if I have $100,000 in the bank, uh, that's Brian's money, and I have $15,000 in the bank that's my company's money, something goes wrong with a client, they sue me, they only have access to that 15,000. They can't touch my personal money. That's another advantage of LLC. So I think if you're, if you're serious about starting a business, do it. It's about 800 bucks, I think I paid about, it's, about, it's an $800 fee every year that I pay to the state. Um, and then I don't, I forget what, I, it was six years ago, I forget what I, what I paid, but I think it was like three or $400. But LegalZoom is probably the fastest.